The West Coast Main Line is the main high-speed route between uh, London and Glasgow. The West Coast Main Line is a um, major rail artery, probably the, the most important rail artery in the country. It carries around 75 million people a year and we operate uh, around about 2,500 trains each and every day. It's a vital part of the country's infrastructure. It serves the great economic and industrial centres. Links them together. London, the Midlands, the North West, and the Scottish Central Belt. Any railway line provides huge challenges to engineers. In the 19th century, particularly when the West Coast Main Line was being built, the challenge was simply working out the best way to construct the line. What was the best route? What was the best way to bore through these hills, to build viaducts across these uh, ravines? I mean, when we look at the people who, who, who designed and built what we now call the West Coast Main Line, it really does read like a who's who of British engineering. Joseph Locke did the line from Grand Junction down from Manchester, Liverpool to uh, Birmingham, and Robert Stevenson to London, Birmingham, Thomas Gooch did the Trent Valley, and Locke finished the line up from Lancaster up to Glasgow and Edinburgh. The West Coast Main Line was chosen for the first great modernisation, the Euston Manchester Liverpool electrification, which was completed in the 1960s and brought immediately the so called Sparks effect, a massive growth of traffic coming to the new, much faster services which struck the public imagination. Old things, old ways ingrained into our lives have given place to new. Over the last 40 years, that w initial work has simply become outdated. It's lived its life, it's done well, it now needs replacement. Uh, the West Coast project is all about uh, enhancements and renewal of the railway from London to Manchester, London to Birmingham, and London up to Glasgow. Um, that included remodelling of areas like Rugby, Milton Keynes, Trent Valley. Well, when we uh, arrived in October 2002, uh, the project was in some state of disarray. At that time, the forecast cost to complete was some 13 or 14 billion pounds, uh, and uh, it was a project that had essentially bankrupted Railtrack. The, the modernisation programmes had a chequered history when Railtrack first uh, set it up. Um, the arrangement that had been agreed with, with Virgin, the train operator, was essentially not deliverable. Railtrack went into administration, uh, Network Rail took over to come up with a plan that was going to be deliverable. The West Coast Main Line was not built as an entity. The West Coast Main Line, although we talk of it as an entity, in fact is made up of all sorts of little bits and pieces built to serve different purposes. So if you take London to Glasgow, for example, that's made up of the lines of, I think it's 12 separate railway companies at one stage or another. And part of the problem that the people modernising it ever afterwards have had to face is the points where those companies' lines come together the West Coast Main Line is a um, major rail artery, probably the, the most important rail artery in the country. It carries around 75 million people a year and we operate uh, around about 2,500 trains each and every day. Unless we spend huge amounts of money, even with the West Coast modernisation, we, we're constrained by the track layout that's been set over the last couple of hundred years. If you were starting again, you might do it differently. Literally, it's like surgery. We have to dismantle the railway, we have to rebuild it and hand it back to operating trains exactly when we say we're going to do that. If you're working on a busy railway like the West Coast Main Line, you require access to the railway which can't be given all the time, it can only be given in certain slots and that enormously complicates the work that you're trying to do. To uh, rebuild a railway while you keep it operating uh, Monday through Friday, work on the weekend requires a uh, significant amount of, uh, of planning and management and just hard work. 